An ad on social media promised young African women a free plane ticket and money for a trip to Europe. Just take a test game to test your knowledge of 100 Russian words, the publication said. This is reported by the Associated Press. But instead of a program of work and study in areas such as the hotel, business and catering, some of them only learned upon arriving in the steppes of Tatarstan that they would be working in a weapons factory and assembling Iranian attack drones. Some women complained of long hours under constant surveillance, unfulfilled salary promises and working with harsh chemicals that left marks on their skin. To fill the acute labor shortage, Russia is recruiting women aged 18 to 22 from regions such as Uganda, Rwanda, Kenya, South Sudan, Sierra Leone and Nigeria as well as Sri Lanka. The campaign is spreading to other Asian countries and Latin America. Thus, in one of the key sectors of the armed production in the Russian Federation, low-skilled people mainly from African countries work. They work together with 16-year-old vacational school students at a plant in the special economic zone Alabuga, about 1,000 kilometers east of Moscow. I really don't know how to make drones, said one African woman who quit her job at home and accepted the Russian offer. The AP analyzed satellite images of the complex and its internal documents spoke to several African women who were there and monitored hundreds of videos from an online recruitment program called Alabuga Start to get a sense of life inside the plant. One of the African women documented her journey in detail, taking selfies at the airport, taking pictures of lunch on the plane and a flight map. She emphasized that she was flying to Europe, but when she arrived in Alabuga and saw what she had to do, she realized that she had been deceived. The company is also engaged in the production of drones, nothing more. I regret and I curse the day when I started doing all this, the woman explained. Let us recall that according to analysts, the Russian Federation had almost doubled the production of Shahed's and is exceeding its plan for the year. Two people died in a fire at one of the Russian capital's most notable buildings, a gargantuan brutalist apartment block that viewers have likened to a toppled skyscraper, emergency officials said Thursday. The nighttime fire broke out in the so-called Dom Korobol, ship building, a hive of about 1,000 apartments that looms 14 stories in the south-central part of Moscow. Emergency officials said preliminary investigation indicated it was caused by electrical problems in one of the flats. The building forms a high gray wall stretching along a main street for 400 meters, 1,300 feet, about the same length as the largest container ships and equivalent to the Empire State Building lying on its side. It was constructed by the Soviet Ministry of Media Machine Building, which also built nuclear power plants and developed nuclear warheads, completed in 1986 after 14 years of work. Israel displayed Wednesday one of the Iranian missiles it intercepted during the October 1 attack that saw Iran launch a wave of some 180 ballistic missiles at Israel in retaliation for the killing of top militants from Hamas and Hezbollah. This ballistic missile has a warhead the size of a ton. I'm talking about a ton of explosives pointed towards Israeli civilian. This type of missile, if it hits a residential building, can kill hundreds of civilians, said LTC Nadav Shoshani, spokesperson for the Israel Defense Forces. We will act against this aggression and when and where we decide, he added. The army also displayed what they said were Hezbollah weapons and ammunition taken from Lebanon during the Israeli ground operation. In recent weeks Israel has waged a punishing air campaign across large parts of Lebanon, targeting what it says are Hezbollah rocket launchers and other militant sites. In a matter of days, strikes killed Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and most of his top commanders. Hezbollah's acting leader, 
Sheikh Naeem Qasim, said in a televised statement Tuesday that the group has replaced its slain commanders and was preventing Israeli ground forces from advancing. The militants have extended their rocket fire deeper into Israel, disrupting life but causing few casualties. Israel is meanwhile considering options for a strike on Iran that could potentially escalate the war on yet another front. What we see uh, right here is a ballistic missile. This is just a fuel tank of a ballistic missile uh, that was fired towards Israel on October 1st. Uh, uh, this ballistic missile has a warhead the size of a ton. I'm talking about a ton of explosives pointed towards Israeli civilian. This type of missile, if it hits a residential building, can kill hundreds of civilians. Iran a week ago fired not one of these, 180 of these and more towards Israeli civilians, sending around 10 million people to the bomb shelters for about an hour. Iran sent an unprecedented attack in a world scale of ballistic missiles towards Israel, sending most of Israel to the bomb shelters. This is an unacceptable act that no sovereign country in the world would accept. Not even one of these ballistic missiles, let alone 180. Uh, uh, and we will act against this aggression when and where we decide.